What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I am back to do another general message for the Collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us, and we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So what's up, fam? Um, hopefully everybody's doing well. You guys are feeling blessed and highly favored. Uh, enjoying your weekend. Um, I think tomorrow's Labor Day, so enjoying the holiday weekend. Uh, we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's in collective energy, any updates or progress on our current situations, anything we don't see coming, the usual. Um, I'm going to try to keep this one like an hour or less. Um, but hopefully you guys are doing good. You've enjoyed your weekend thus far. I'm going to pull overall energy from the Sacred Soul. And then I'm going to use my decks. I'm going to use the Kipper Ish and the iCap Tarot. Just to see what we got going on. Um, Pre-shuffle was interesting. There's been, you know, somebody, you know, trying to manifest a lot in a lot of different areas of your life. And this person's frustrated and confused. Because they can't. It's like you're... <laughs> You're untouchable. I feel like you're untouchable. This person could see you as untouchable. Um, I feel like they're fearing something. Somebody's fearing something. They're fearing a manifestation of yours. Maybe your manifestation ability. It almost seems like they're waiting on something to happen. Like something that you've manifested. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's get into it. Let's go. Anger, reverse. Your expectations are not met, creating frustration. Express it in a healthy way. It's anger, reverse. Maybe somebody's not frustrated or somebody's very frustrated, very angry. Anger. Materialism, reverse. Relentlessly pursuing wealth and possessions and putting them above care for others. Materialism, reverse. Same with this one. Either somebody's like super materialistic or somebody's not at all. Um, be here now. Reverse. Why are these all reverse? Because the you know, anyway. balance productivity with self-care and mindfulness to savor the moment. Be here now. these all come out reverse i'm taking them all up right Watch. <laughs> feeling lost wandering aimlessly but time and self-reflection brings clarity and purpose somebody could be feeling lost you know like they don't know where to go they don't know what to do you know let's just you know project onto the collective if we have nothing else to do let's project towards the collective right that's what they want to do lack of awareness reverse Missing opportunities, not seeing potential risks, seek facts and stay open-minded. Lack of awareness, reverse. So, I mean, technically, if we're going to take this, then, you know, somebody's not angry. Somebody's not materialistic. Somebody is, you know, living in the present. They're here now. There's somebody else feeling lost, wondering aimlessly. And then there's somebody who is aware, who has awareness. Lack of awareness reverse or anger reverse, materialism reverse, be here now reverse, feeling lost upright, and lack of awareness reverse. Bottom of this deck, we have toxic. You may be projecting your unresolved issues onto others. Don't cause harm. Maybe. All right, so uh, I'm going to start with the I kept zero. Uh, first one out is anger reverse. Your expectations are not met, creating frustration. Express it in a healthy way. Came out reverse. Uh, anger, reverse. The hermit, reverse. Five of Pentacles, reverse. Ace of Wands. P 
Page of Swords reverse, followed by the Knight of Swords reverse. What I get is, is it could be somebody that's like super angry. Like anger came out reverse, but this is somebody who's like super upset. Very much frustrated maybe because they're not getting, their expectations are not being met. This is somebody who needs to express something in a healthy way. I feel like they're not. This is somebody expressing something in an unhealthy way. Somebody's talking shit. Somebody's upset. They're really pissed off. They're frustrated and they're talking a lot of shit, taking, talking real reckless. Because you know, this Knight of Swords reverse talks about recklessness. Any sort of reverse can be a lie. It's not the truth. But you know, you got malicious gossip and slander, Page of Swords, could be spying, stalking. Then Knight of Swords reverse, that is, um, you know, reckless, like quick, impulsive, reckless behavior. And what I get is a whole lot of, it's a whole lot of shit talking. Somebody is really, they're being reckless with that mouth. Somebody's being real reckless with that mouth. This is somebody who doesn't know something. So maybe they're just like pulling shit out of their ass. I don't know. Because the hermit reverse. This can definitely be somebody unhealed. Somebody refusing to go inward. Refusing to look at themselves. You know, I get, I get like an energy of somebody who might just want to blame everybody else for every, you know. Anything that they're going through is somebody else's fault. You know, it's not their responsibility. This is somebody who denies accountability. This is somebody who, I don't know, I feel like they're out of the loop on something. This person could definitely be unhealed. They don't want to be left out. You know, say like, you know, a lot of you, you're in that, that ace of wands, that passionate new beginning. A lot of you been in a new cycle. Like, it's nothing new. You know, some of these karmic energies are acting like, you know, you, you, the, your flight just departed. You've been in a new cycle. Like, have gotten comfortable in a new cycle. These people are late. Your past person is late. Beyond late. Like, you, you've been gone. You know? Uh, but this is somebody who doesn't want to be left out. Five of Pentacles reverse. They don't want to be on the outside looking in. But like I say, in a lot of your cases, like, uh, it's been three years. It's been two years. It's been ten years. Like, motherfucker been on the outside and they will stay on the outside at this point. Like, what do you mean? I feel like there's somebody who's out of the loop. They don't want to be left out, but they're talking shit. They're being real reckless. And I, I definitely feel like this is, this is with that mouthpiece, you know, uh, bumping them gums. Better be able to back that up. You know? Let's, uh, I'll put a couple more. Knight of Swords Reverse, Page of Swords Reverse. What's going on? The Sun. It's a hater. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. Four of Pentacles reverse. Somebody, I feel like somebody could be hating. Somebody's like, you know, talking shit on maybe your success. Your growth. I get that. Because I was really pulling on that page page of swords reverse and that knight of swords reverse. I'm like, what are they talking shit about? Somebody's talking shit about your success, baby. The sun. A lot of you are in a time or period of, you know, success, growth, expansion. You know, enlightenment. And somebody's hating. They're just a hater. Sourpuss. Screw face. Mad because you're trustworthy. Maybe you're somebody you know devoted, somebody dedicated, hardworking, patient. Something that a, a Knight of Swords reverse knows nothing about. You and this person are not the same. You're nothing alike. Which is why they're angry, talking shit, and you're somewhere winning, baby. That's what I get. That's what I get. <laughs> That's what I get. Yeah, this is somebody who could be, you know, maybe they're like defenseless in a certain situation. They've lost protection. They, 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 they've lost backing. Because off of these cards, back to back to back like this. Nine of Wands or, or nine of, or Seven of Swords Revert. Or what is that? Seven of Wands Revert. Somebody has no defense. They might not have backup or backing. They have no defense. 
So they have to stop something. Nine of Wands reversed, they can't continue. Four of Pentacles reversed, they have to let something go. So say they were blocking something, actively blocking something, or black, uh, actively stopping something. They got to quit. Like they don't have the backup that they do. And when the cards first came out, I immediately got somebody that likes the resources. They don't have the resources to continue doing what they've been doing. And like I said, the pre-shuffle, it was clear. Somebody was trying to affect several different areas of your life. More than likely with manipulation or spell work. That costs money. Especially, I mean, this punk ass, they're not, yeah, their shit's not working. They have to pay somebody else to do it. But that costs money. Somebody's running out of resources. And I, for the most part, it doesn't matter who does it. Whether they do it or they pay a practitioner. The shit is not affecting you, Collective, because it wasn't supposed to collect. Or, so, oh, excuse me, it wasn't supposed to affect you. A lot of you are here for bigger, th bigger things, better things. This is like small shit. They insist on keeping you in this small ass or relevant ass cycle, and you you're already removed. Like it's just like this, man. That's frustrating. You know what I'm saying? It's frustrating. It's like a mosquito that just won't go the fuck away. Like. Let me pull from the, the Kipper ish as well. High honor reverse. Go figure. Sounds about right. <laughs> Jezebel. <clears throat> so we got a hoe that likes honor, like they like integrity, righteousness. Faith, this person praying. Pathway. Is somebody praying? Is there a whore somewhere that's praying? <laughs> that's praying that they can. Uh, hey, you know, I'm all for it. Not being a whore, but um, faith and pathway. Somebody's praying, like, Lord, please help me get on my pathway. Please, Lord, help me. Show me the light, Lord. You know, I'm all for it. Talk to God. You know, talk to God. I'm sorry if uh, my voice is a little bit raspy. As some of you may have noticed, I went to a party. I'm sorry. It's a little bit, you know. You know. <laughs> Destruction. Somebody could be praying to get on their pathway. Maybe they're they're encountering a tower of some sort. Huh? Okay, so we have healer and earth angel back to back. What's up, boo? I love. Somebody's a healer and an earth angel. This is a tower for somebody. They didn't believe it. They didn't want to believe it. Oh, uh, we got ascending reverse. It's like a tower moment to somebody. Somebody thought that maybe maybe they thought they were going the right way. Maybe they thought what they were doing was justified or, you know, righteous or something. Somebody going the wrong way. Occupation reverse. Ascending reverse, occupation reverse. Work, labor, and efforts reverse. It's somebody that put a, they put a whole lot of work, a whole lot of labor and effort into something that's not beneficial it has proven itself not fruitful for them somebody could have lost a job a title a position death magic like i said there's been somebody doing a whole lot of projecting trying to project onto your life and they're, they're going to reap everything they've sown you know just the way it is. I mean, shit, they, they did it? What the fuck? <laughs> it's okay for them to project death into your life, right? And they, what, they just, it's not okay for them to get that back? No, it's their shit. They're going to take it. They're going to carry it. They will. Mm. Yeah. This is something, it's something they did. I'm going to show you guys this. I'm not going to take it, but... Voodoo reverse. 
That's that death magic. Something that's going back. They did it. They had. They hired a voodoo priestess or priest to do it. It's going back. It is blocked. Like plain and simple. And it will return to whoever set the intention. There's a lot of practitioners pissed off. There's a lot of practitioners. So a lot of practitioners pissed off. As well they should be. I mean, but in the same sense, where, where was their discernment? You out here, you know, practicing energy. You do energy work. Where was your discernment? You thought it was okay. To take whatever lies or rat face, rock head, dog face, karmic or, you know, distorted energy told you. And just bibbity bop, you know? On somebody <laughs> totally innocent. Totally innocent. They didn't do, you know, didn't do their research. Just took the money and decided to, you know, project death onto somebody. Oh. Right. Uh, materialism reverse. Relentlessly pursuing wealth and possessions and putting them above care for others. So this is somebody who puts money over everything. You know, they all they care about is money. They will throw you under the bus or they will, you know, project some death magic. As long as it's a, a coin involved. Uh, materialism versus the fool. This could be somebody not materialistic. No, 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 no. Judgment, reverse. Queen of Swords, reverse. This is somebody who puts, you know, possessions and money over people. Somebody cold, ruthless, bitter. Three of Cups, reverse. Like magic, reverse. So this is a bitch, or I mean, excuse me, this is a witch. <laughs> a witch in her coven. <laughs> or I mean, I, maybe I had it right the first time. Might have, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Queen of Swords, reverse. And Three of Cups, reverse. Followed by Black Magic, reverse. This is a witch and her his or her flunkies. The people dumb enough to follow this person. Whatever they've been doing, Black Magic Reverse, it's going right on back. <laughs> I get tired of saying this shit. I really get tired of saying this shit. It's going back. So they've been projecting, right? This is somebody, this could be somebody, and I, I got an energy of like leaving. Like, as you see on the fool, there's this person. She has a bag packed, and she's going. The fool talks about going a different way. This is somebody who does want to go a different way. They might want to do things differently, but they want to do this to escape judgment. The fool followed by judgment reverse. They don't want to be judged. You think you can outrun karma? Cross watcher, you think you can outrun karma? You think you can just, you know, skip town and, you know, get away from karma? It works like that. You can go to Alaska. You can go to Antarctica. Karma will meet you there. I guarantee you. Karma will meet you there, beloved. Yeah, there's somebody that's, you know, was cold. You know, ruthless. Bitter. You know, willing to do anything. Them and their flunkies. A bunch of mad ass losers. That are reaping everything they've sown. Thinking they can outrun karma. You can, you're not outrunning karma. You got, I mean, you want to go a different way? You want to come towards the light? By all means. But you know, yeah, none of us get it. These people think they're exempt. They think they're exempt. You know, everybody else gets karma and punishment except for them, right? None of us are exempt. None of us. <laughs> Baby, what's up? What's this black magic reverse? What's going back? What was they doing? What's going back? Tribe, I cannot make it up. That's what I got off of that fool card. They're, this is like somebody dumb and they really think they can outrun this shit. Like, uh, what's that movie? What's the movie where all them people thought that they could cheat death? It was like seven or eight different movies. Like portions or, you know, in episodes or whatever. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Final Destination. Final Destination. They think they can just outrun. They go cheat death, right? Okay. Travel. Somebody want. They want to travel. It's like somebody really thinking they can. Uh, they can outrun karma. Confusion, illusion. Love offer. What the hell? Somebody's confused or 
Confused about a love offer? What is this? Okay, I don't feel about to take that. Hold on, let's start from scratch here. Community reverse. Unexpected money. Divine masculine. Somebody could be confused as to how you're receiving a love offer. This could be a group of people. Community reverse. A group of people, a community of people. They're confused as to how you're receiving a love offer or why you're receiving a love offer. I mean, it's if it's a fucking love offer, it's, it's between two people. So why the fuck? There is a weird ass community so concerned with your love offer is beyond me. And I'm sure beyond you, beloved. It does, it does not make sense. The fucking love offer. What the hell? Why is Tom, Dick, and Harry, uh, Sarah, Jessica, and you know, Ashley all... Why, what the fuck has nothing to do with them? Damn. Could be some unexpected money coming in. Maybe a love offer is tied to some type of unexpected money. I don't know what the hell going on. You got unexpected money and divine masculine. What is this? Protection reverse. Nice guy. This is the same person from line one. That they've lost some type of protection. It's divine masculine upright though. Somebody's lost some type of protection, some type of defense. There's some type of unexpected money that's coming in. I feel like somebody wants to make a love offer. Maybe because there, there's some type of unexpected money coming in. But this person has either lost protection or they lack, they don't have a defense. Nice guy energy. This is King of Cups and I saw it at the end, at the bottom of the other deck. Might still be there. Hold on. No, it's not. Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom. Just like that unexpected money. Animosity. There's a King of Cups energy. This person is upright. This person like either lost protection or they don't have a defense. They're mad about something. Poverty. Five of Pentacles. Well, we have five of Pentacles reverse. This person is struggling financially. This could, and I feel like they came out upright because this is somebody's DM. This is somebody's in my masculine right now. Well, you know what rock they've been under or how long they've been smoking, you know, the the crack rock they've been smoking. I don't know, but I mean, somebody's confused. Very, yeah, confusion. Confusion, illusion, upright, and mad. They're confused and mad because they're having money issues. I mean, I, it, as if it's your fault, right? It's your fault that this, this person's having money issues? I think not. I think not, beloved. But this person is confused. They're confused and angry because they're having financial issues. Could be sitting in poverty, sitting in an energy of lack. Things have gotten difficult for somebody. Maybe this is why they want to make a love offer. I'm going to come in, offer some love, some affection. They want to be unblocked if you have this person blocked. Uh, be here now, reverse. Balance productivity with self care and mindfulness to savor the moment maybe somebody's not being here now somebody's not in the living in the present oh why am i knocking i'm sorry be here now reverse six of swords karmic connection reverse this is you <laughs> this is you like <laughs> oh no it's not a lot <laughs> will of fortune reverse somebody yeah this is somebody else. I was about to say somebody has released a karmic connection and they have moved the hell on. This is somebody who wants to move on. They want to move on. And they could be releasing a karmic connection because they haven't been having the best of luck. Wheel of Fortune Reverse. It's been a negative turn of events. Wherever they've been and whatever they've been doing uh, or going through. So, um, yeah. 
Somebody wants to move forward. They want to move forward now. There's somebody who may come in and try to sweet talk you. They may come in and try to, you know, sweet talk and lay it on thick. Oh, you, you know, I mean, whatever, you know. You know you're the only one for me. You know you're the only one for me. I wasn't stood in that other heifer. It's always been you, baby. You know, I don't know. I get sweet talk off of that. Page of Cups could be like a message not sent or it could be a hater. But I get like somebody is like... I get the opposite. Like, they're going to come in and sweet talk you. Try to sweet talk, play real nice. They might do this publicly. Or maybe this person has to contact you on media because you have their number blocked. Social media. Something's public. King of Swords Reverse. Get your lying ass. Lion King. King of Swords Reverse. Lion King. Call him Mufasa because it's the Lion King. Oh, he's lying. Lion ass sleep. <laughs> King of Swords reverse, or King of Swords is Libra energy, is air energy, uh, but you know, uh, yeah, this guy's reverse, which uh, oftentimes indicate a liar, or a narcissist. This is somebody you close cycle with, pull, what's up? Maybe this DM, this King of Cups is somebody else. I, yeah, I don't know. Could all be the same person. This is all a DM. It's not, this is a divine masculine. But I mean, it gets so confusing. And you, those of you, those of you who like, you know, do readings yourself. I mean, it gets to be confusing. You know, especially like if you're doing general reads, like in your own situation. If I'm uh, if I'm doing a personal, I know who's who. Like I mean, you know, it's clear. But you know, for yeah. That could all be the same person, and maybe they are. You know, they could be a sweetheart. They're, you know, a compassionate, generous person. But this person happens to lie. You know? It's possible. Or this could be two separate energies, you know? Ten of Cups. Is this person, okay. So is this either somebody you close a cycle with, or they're closing a cycle, moving away from a karmic energy because they want the Ten of Cups. They want to be happy. They want emotional fulfillment. They want to be with their person. And that's what I try to do. I try to look at like every single angle. Like this is somebody closing a cycle, moving away from a karmic energy because they want to be happy. The world karmic connection reverse ten of cups. This is somebody. Is that's why we had divine masculine upright. This is somebody's person. And dare dare I say, you know, uh, daddy coming home. Yeah. Yeah. Probably be uh you know a few people mad about that. Hey, take it high, take what resonates, you know. If it's not your message. And yeah, another thing, you know, my fam, my dearly beloved, I'm not talking to y'all because y'all don't do this. I need everybody to understand that these are general readings. General readings. That means a reading in which you take what resonates and you leave what does not hopping in my comments and this is why there's always like a few people that fuck it up for everybody else because this is why i'm not as active in comments used to be in there all the time responding to people reading every single comment but it's too many people coming at me reckless and sideways that i don't even read a lot of them now you know i miss comments i miss emails because you know people want to send hate mail or people want to threaten me or people want to get out of pocket and the thing is, I'm not about to let y'all affect my energy. I will stop reading them. So it gets to be a bit too much. Understand that this is a general reading. You're supposed to take what resonates and leave what does not. My intro has a disclaimer saying exactly that. So hopping in the comments and treating this as if it's a personal, telling me what's wrong. Well, that's not right. You got that wrong. And nope, you're wrong about that too. Like, you sound ridiculous. It's a general read. I don't know you, Patricia. Robin, I mean whoever, Wendy, I don't know you, I don't know you, from a can of tuna, pipe down in the comments now, shit, I'm sorry, that shit just gets it, get me, like what the hell wrong with you lady, it's a general, yes, it is a general reading, goodness, <laughs> boy, 
That really, no, because it grates my gear. People like really come at me like all that. Like, uh, okay, don't project over here, baby, because I'll toss it right back at you. Cool. Keep that to yourself, tend to your children. Anyway. Yeah, but this is somebody that when they're closing the cycle, they want to come home. They come home. They want to be where, where their heart is, you know? This is broken. Priest? It's either a spiritual, a spiritual or a religious masculine energy, spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge. This is like the Herophon card, too. I don't, man, somebody want to get married? Mm, third party stitch. This person could be married. Are they currently in a marriage? Message. Obsession reverse. Intuitive care. It's in the upright. This person just got a message. They just discovered something. They're closing a cycle and moving away from a karmic connection because they've just discovered that somebody is obsessed with you. Granted, I mean, this is, it says intuitive care. And it's in the upright. This is talk about intuition. But what I get from this, intuitive gang. Collective. Somebody has, uh, re they received a message. An obsession came out reversed, but I feel like it's ex extreme obsession. Somebody has got the message. They finally got the message. That this old dog face rock head ass. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this third party. Somebody got the message that this third party is obsessed. Like this bitch is crazy. Somebody locked the door. This masculine energy. They, they Maybe that's why they're moving away from them. Like, uh, bitch, why do you have a shrine of my ex in your closet? Like, I get those vibes. Like, what the hell going on here? Why you got a shrine of my baby mama in your closet? What the hell wrong with you? That's what this person's saying. Like, oh, yeah, let me get the hell away from your ass. Man. Uh, feeling lost. Wondering aimlessly, but time and self-reflection brings clarity and purpose. What we got here? Nine of swords. That's exactly what those... <laughs> those two, yeah. Somebody stressed out. Could be dealing with anxiety. Feeling lost. You know, they're stressed out about something. Maybe about what they invested in. Who they invested in. Yeah, a Queen of Pentacles reverse. A gold digging, superficial, materialistic energy. Somebody only concerned with money and appearances. That's what they invested in. And now they're stressed out about this shit. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this was an energy that was only concerned with that Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles reverse. First, I only cared about money. Three of Wands, reverse. Like nothing else. Like three of Wands, there's no other ships coming in. Somebody was only concerned with money. They weren't worried. They wasn't waiting for nothing else. They wasn't worried about nothing else. The Emperor. That's, it's, that's whose ships are not coming in. They got with a gold digger. There's no other ships coming in. But the person was going to add, you know, contribute. No. King of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles reverse, all they do is take. They don't give. They give you anything, it's you know, high blood pressure. You know, bad credit. I cannot make it up. Divine partner reverse. This person knows, this emperor, they know that the Queen of Pentacles reverse is not their divine partner. Can't couldn't be. It's an emperor upright. They go with the Empress upright. Strength reverse. And this person was just, well, yeah. Queen of Pentacles reverse is somebody non-committal. Disloyal, non-committal, disloyal. Somebody who lacks righteousness. Yeah, this person, uh, this emperor man, might have been under an illusion. They were confused, which is why they made a love offer. They see clearly now. Illusion's been cleared. They see that somebody was disloyal. A whole snake. Gold digger. 
family. Twin flame reverse. This person, that the illusion was cast on them by family. This person's karmic ass family, distorted ass family, got them to release their own twin flame and partner with the karmic pro. What type of family does shit like that though? And it's a lot more common than I ever would have thought. Like, we got a lot of, like, you know, roaches for family. Like, you know, like, what type of family is that? Snake ass family. Like, they're just trash. They're all garbage. Somebody's family got them to move away from a twin flame. Got them to dead that. Ended. Totally end a, a twin flame connection. And in a lot of cases, they did. Because some of you guys, you're not going back to that twin flame. They've done way too much. Way too much. There's no there's no redemption. You know, that's between them and God. A lot of y'all want nothing to do with it. Health concern reverse. Yeah, I feel like something's over and somebody has gotten better. I mean, this could be you. You know, since something has ended, your health has improved. You know, maybe you were sick and stressed out or, you know, in bad health, connected to somebody. You got away from their weird asses or their karmic asses and, you know, things started getting better. Health concern reverse. Healing. Boss reverse. This is a leader that's lost authority, lost power. This is like King of Wands reverse energy as well. Somebody that be, can be controlling, manipulative. This is somebody who's lost divinity and they don't like it. Enamor reverse, divinity reverse. This is somebody who this is a hater, potentially. Somebody who's lost divinity. They don't like you. They don't like the fact that they've lost divinity based on their choices. But they, they got an issue with you. Soulmate reverse. They then lost the soul. Man, this is like this person's a loser. Ah, just a total loser. All T, all shade, all offense too. I mean, yeah, this person's a loser. In Amber reverse, soulmate reverse divinity. They have lost a soulmate, lost their divinity, clearly lost their mind if they like. I mean, everybody, and I'm not saying, you know, everybody makes mistakes. But everybody has to live with those mistakes. Do we not? I'll be a liar if I sat here and said I was perfect. I never messed up. But you know the, the mistakes I've made in my life? I've had to live with them. As as have you. This person is no, di they're no different. They're not exempt. They can sit somewhere mad and hating all they want to. They, they did it. The fuck? The fuck? How you gonna be mad at somebody else for you know you doing this for you know it's like somebody doing twenty years in prison for robbing a bank. You robbed the bank. Who you mad at? Who? Like <laughs> lack of awareness reverse. Somebody could be very much aware. Missing opportunities, not seeing potential risks. Seek facts and stay open minded. Lack of awareness reverse. Somebody could be lacking awareness, really lacking awareness, or somebody is not. No, yeah. The chariot. Upright. Emotional manipulator. Two of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse. You're you're aware. You are aware you could have been, you've, maybe you've done some healing. You could have been in deep emotional pain, heartbroken about something. I feel like you've done some healing, but you, you don't lack awareness. You have awareness, which is why you have moved the fuck on from a situation. Chariot. Moving forward victoriously, moving on, getting control of your situation. When it comes to some situation with an emotional manipulator, this could have been your past person. This could be family. This could be anybody. It's narc, a narc or maybe several narcs. Somebody that was manipulating your emotions, playing with them, trying to take advantage of your emotions. Uh, you moved on. Like you were aware, whether people wanted to be honest or real or not, you were aware of a situation and you moved on. 
Look at all these pinnacles. Most of which are reversed. Well, 11 pinnacles. There's somebody that wants to balance something out. I feel like this is a situation, I said that like early on. You've removed yourself. You've been removed from these situations. Somebody wants to balance something out for something that they took. Six of Pentacles reversed. They took something. Something that should have been given to you. Or maybe they held on to something that should have been given to you. Maybe they hid or blocked something. They want to balance this out. They want to make this right. Because whatever they were collaborating to do, whatever team effort this was, to steal your Pentacles, it's failed. It has failed. You know, that if they were supposed to be living their best life, yeah, it's all going to shit. It's going to absolute shit. So now somebody wants to bat and you've moved on. Moved on. You know? Carried on. Like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna sit here and battle y'all and try to get my shit back. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna trust in God. I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna, you know, live my best life elsewhere. Now they wanna battle something out. They wanna make it right now. Ritual, jealousy, and envy. Endings. So yeah, you moved on. You're doing. You probably doing great. Now, it's like somebody wants, to, or maybe you know, even if some, this isn't other people wanting to balance something out, you've balanced your finances out. They took something from you, and you still managed to balance your finances. These are people jealous and envious. Jealous and envious and doing like some type of energy work to project endings onto you. Hating. Sour asses. So you steal from me. You steal from the collective. The collective decides to let you, you know, whatever you stole, go on that. You know what? I'm going to keep it moving. Not even about to sit here and war with you about this. I'm going to keep it moving. So collective, you move on, right? Then these, these same motherfuckers that stole from you in the first place, they want to create endings for you. Make it make sense. Ain't it bad enough they stole in the first place? It's the audacity for me. It's the audacity for me. They want to block your new beginnings, block your money. Shit, they, I mean, like, seriously. After already stealing, it's just, it's just disgusting. It's disgusting. That's why a lot of these people can't come back. Ever. Yeah, you're not trapped in shit. Bond is reverse. They create endings for you. Yeah, you're out of there already. What do you mean? What the fuck? That's just why everything's going back. Yo, I cannot make it. I cannot make this up. You're already out of there, baby. Bondage reverse unbothered. Like, bunnies. Bye. Deuces. Shit. What the fuck? Like, you're already out of there. <laughs> out of there. Unbothered. Don't even care. Emotional pain reversed. What what emotional pain? Collective is out of there, baby. Peaceful, happy. Bye, bunnies. Bye. Shit. Like whatever you stole, keep whatever you stole. Hope it was worth it. Goodbye. Shit. <laughs> yeah, somebody in the south know. Mad. Stay mad. Shit. Somebody care about you being mad, thief. courthouse <laughs> they're mad because you're still getting you're still getting what's old to you you're still getting your shit somebody in the south know tired as fuck because they don't get any sleep they stay up constantly projecting this weak ass magic tired as fucking like a raccoon and judgment's going in your favor so they mad about it where's the I can't make it up I can't make it up they're mad they so mad <laughs> They so mad. Why are you so mad? You mad. At a sweetheart. Make it make sense. What they mad at you for? <laughs> like you had some shit. You, 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 you know, held a gun to somebody's head and made them steal. Steal from me. Steal from me, dang it. Steal from me. But no, they chose to steal from you. They chose to hold shit back from you. They chose to put their trout ass, yuck ass mouths on you and lie. They chose to do this. But want to be mad at you. What are they get your... They deserve an ass whooping. Uh, each and every one of them, they deserve an ass whooping. In the 3D. 
Like I said, it's the audacity for me. Like, I be... Like, what? Yeah, anyway, moving on, as you should be. Keep on going, Paul. Keep going, babe. Keep going, babe. Straight to the top, baby. Straight to the top. Uh, let's get some Oracle. I said I was going to try to keep this short. Uh, we're not going to do Mestec today. I'm going to do the, uh, the Celtic Cross my next read, and I want to do the Mestec and everything else. But, yeah, we're going to keep this real short. Real light, real tight, baby. I'm going to give y'all one of the... Uh, I'm going to give you one of the Magical Spirit. And I'm going to give you one of the Goddesses, Gods, and Guardians. The Seeker. All-Seeing Eye, Spirit, Release. Could you surrender just a bit more? 36 could be significant. Could you surrender just a bit more? so mad collector they so mad baby mad ass. mermaid of lemuria joy okay we'll start with that one mermaid of lemuria mermaid of lemuria i think i told you guys a while back i had a reader tell me i was lemurian and that I needed to get some uh, Lemurian quartz. So I did. I went out and bought a whole bunch of it. But, uh, you know, uh, it's like clear clear quartz, crystal quartz. Although this is supposed to be like higher vibing. The Lemurian stuff. Good stuff, though. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's taking me a second. Where is that at? Okay. Mermaid of Lemuria, joy. Drop the worry habit. Embrace lightheartedness. Lemuria was a light-centered civilization where the peaceful inhabitants maintained an exceptionally pure connection to the divine. Lemurian knowledge was embedded with crystals, stones, plants, and the ocean. Mer people were an extension of the water element, vibrating to a note of pure joy. The mermaids carried the fluidity of the divine feminine and were expert at balancing energy through play, relaxation, dance, creative movement, and sound healing. They freely express their carefree love of life. Look who splashed into your life today. With the playful flick of her shimmering tail, this mermaid showers you with droplets of Lemurian light. She says, I see how much time and energy you spend worrying about the future. You're trying to control and plan everything out of fear. This approach is outworn and it dulls your radiance. I'm here to clear you of rigid, anxious patterns that sap your life, your life force and cloud your spiritual vision. When was the last time you played and had fun? Leave work for now and let your hair down. Trust that it's safe to drop your routines for a while. Lighten up and dance with the flow of life. Joy is your birthright and opens up creative solutions. Connecting to simple joys is the answer to any life challenge you may be handling right now. Drawing this card heralds an energy shift. You've got Lemurian wisdom waiting in your sails, ready to be expressed. Let the mermaid melt away your hard edges. Soften your heart and reattune your energies to sacred joy. You're about to dive deep into divine waters that have long been calling your name. Mermaid of Lemuria, joy. Drop the worry habit and embrace the lightheartedness. Period. Period. That's, I mean, that's, I, I can live by that, you know? Keep it lighthearted. Eh? Drop the drama. We'll go, we'll do without the drama. Cool. Uh, okay, next we have the Seeker from the Magical Spirit Oracle. <clears throat> the All-Seeing Eye Spirit Release. Could you surrender just a bit more? I surrender to the Divine. The third eye does not look in order to see. Instead, it feels and knows. It is the most mystical of all spiritual symbols and is the seeker of our world, the part of us that brings us to higher understandings and connects us to the divine, if we allow it to. The seeker archetype is the cloaked being who can travel between realms, the one who uncovers universal magic and mysteries, the finder of Atlantis in the sea, the opener of ancient books even when the world tells them not to. They travel to forbidden and uncharted lands when others are too fearful to do so. Ironically, our human nature and our own two eyes can often get in the way of our seeking. Part of learning to see with your third eye is actually to close your own, to get out of 
to get out of our way of boxed in thinking, rationalizing, or overanalyzing. Reason and logic are not what carry us to magical realms. It is surrendering to spirit and quieting our minds so we can open up to the mysterious. The one who learns to see does not does it by using their third eye connection with spirit. Notice that the goddess in the artwork is crying. She cries tears of awe and wonder at what she is seeing. Her third eye, wide open and looking toward the heavens is symbolic of the heightened understandings and awakenings we are capable of receiving. A release allows for the rise, the third eye seeing upwards. Observe how the goddess comes, becomes the horizon. She is the rising sun with a renewed sense of optimism for life. The sun is within her mouth as though she will speak, express, or sing about her powerful experience. That surrendering and releasing rather than controlling and consuming was how she achieved it. She asked you, could you surrender just a bit more? Uh, there's a manifestation enhancer here. I feel called to read it. It will be wise to continue practicing the release of yourself to spirit. The best way to activate your third eye is to get your mind out of the way. Let yourself get carried away within the magic of every present moment. Try to get through a whole day of not judging, forcing, or overanalyzing anything. If you pay attention, you will be surprised by how much you do. Spirit would rush in if, only, if it only had the room to. Pretty much like make room for spirit to come in. Surrender a little bit more. That's a good one. It's a good one. I might have needed that, you know. Uh, hmm. uh, I'm going to give you guys a prayer from Jesus Listens by Sarah Young. Today is what? The first. It's the first of the month. Cash a check and come on. All right. Uh, I'm praying for everybody watching. All of you beautiful beautiful souls uh the collective you chosen ones uh star seeds what's up fam and myself glorious savior please fill me with your love joy and peace in ever increasing measure <laughs> these are glory gifts that flow from your living presence i know i'm just an earthen vessel but i rejoice that you've designed me to overflow with your heavenly contents I've learned that my weakness is not a deterrent to being filled with your spirit. On the contrary, my inadequacy provides the perfect setting for your power to shine brighter. As I walk with you through this day, help me to keep trusting you to provide the strength I need moment by moment. I don't want to waste my precious energy wondering whether I have enough stamina for today's journey. Instead, I can rest in the knowledge that your spirit within me is more than sufficient to handle whatever comes my way. Lord, you provide everything I need in quietness, spending time alone with you, and confident trust, relying on your adequacy, is my strength. In your powerful name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. This reference Corinthians 4, 7, Ephesians 3, 16, and Isaiah 30, 15. Amen. Like I said, this is uh, Jesus Listens by Sarah Young. It's a prayer for every day of the book. Or every day of the year <laughs> uh, i'm gonna close this reading here i hope this helps i hope there was some confirmation some clarity maybe you could put two and two together if nothing else thank you so much for joining me um i love you guys a lot i'm so glad you're here um yeah as always i'm kev intuitive kev and this has been a reading for the collective i will catch you guys on the next one peace